This is the parasitic choke uh, assembly, parasitic choke board, out of an AL811 Ameritron. And it's also used for an 811H and a 572B, if you notice where the extra place is for the uh, coil and resistor capacitors. It's pretty straightforward, um, a parasitic suppression board only they've had one problem with these uh, resistors uh, will start getting hot and burn up on 10 meters and the reason is because these coils I've got one removed here right now uh, these coils have too many windings on it and uh, they're too close to uh, the operating frequency of 10 meters so what I need to do th this is the um, modification for this so that the so that this won't be an issue anymore. So, uh, obviously it's uh, involving removing these coils and I've removed one and remove a turn. Now I've got one right here that I've already prepared. Focus and you see I've removed a turn. And these I've already unsoldered so I can pull those out over here and I'll remove them. See I've already unsoldered them. They're pretty simple. I just, to, to unsolder them, I just uh, removed uh, some of the solder from the edge there. Get the light on it. And all you got to do is just remove some solder just on the edge and uh, you don't have to unsolder this whole piece here. And just remove the solder on that one. That's the duplicated and all the rest of them. And if you have the 811H or the 572B, same thing here, you know, that's just left blank in this one. Um, so again, what we want to do is, uh, in this situation, this is the original coils, they tend to uh, get too close to the operating frequency of 10 meters, there we go, and this is the modified one, again, you can see side by side, it's just a matter of removing one turn, and then of course you'll have to spread it out to uh, fit back in the board. So I will uh, install that and we'll see what that looks like here. When we, because when you, obviously when you try to put it back in, well, you can see that you need to uh, stretch it out a little bit there uh, to meet the hole. So we'll do that. I'll do that here. only takes a little bit. You can even put one side in there and then stretch the other side out. Needle nose pliers here and just uh, put the other side in there and then you can make it more symmetrical like that. See? Okay. That's good to go. And get that other side in there and it'll be good. That's golden right there. So I've just done one. I'm going to solder it here too, as you can see. Use some 6040 leaded solder. Don't use the, uh, I don't prefer using the, uh, just a soldering tip here. I don't like using the unleaded solder because it doesn't work as well. Your results may vary though. You might you know, put a little extra solder on this thing so it's uniform. There we go. That's done. So now we can lay out this. There it is. So it's just a matter of getting the coil here. You, you know, you want to stretch it out uniformly, obviously, and as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uniformly, there it is. See? So I'm going to do that now with the other two. Uh, positions here for L L1 and L2. I did L3 here, and again, if you have, if there's a, uh, if you have the board that has all four positions filled, you do the same thing for all four positions. This now has what is it? One, two, three, four, five turns as opposed to six or seven or ten, whatever uh, version of. 
PC board you have, but now I'm going to do the other two coils. We'll see how I do that here, and it's just a matter of taking the coil and I count down one turn here. I have to leave myself a little extra space here so that it lines up. So you'll see in a minute here how I'm going to do this. I clip it about right there. Get the clippers in there. Snip. Done. Go that piece away. Now I get the uh, finagle with this a little bit. I usually use two needle nose pliers. I just grab hold of it like that. Bend it. It's done. See there? Now we stretch it out. Get a good pull like this. Gives a little uniformity. You can kind of estimate it. See there? It's about right. And you can shape it when you get it back on the PC board. So we'll do that. So, that's it, and we can bend it to shape, it's not all that important, but you know, get some uniformity back into it, as you can probably see there, there, yeah, that looks pretty uniform, now I solder it, and now, third coil, this one here, same thing. Repeat the sequence. Done. Trust the dusty needle nose pliers, put them in. So now, here's the improved, new and improved board. See, I've soldered everything back in now. With the, the way the uh, coils should look. And again, it's, uh, there should be like no more than four or five, four, five turns here on each of these. I'm a little picky. I like to make them look kind of uniform, so I'll just kind of squeeze the coils as I see fit. Kind of thin them so they look uh, a little more uniform. But uh, that's about right. No problems. So that will, this will remedy that problem with the uh, these resistors burning up on these boards is to just reduce again uh, cut the coils uh, on these just one turn and you end up with one, two, three, four, about four to five turns on these and spread it out of course so it fits the board and it should look like that and that'll take care of the uh, problem the 10 meter problem with these burning up on 10 meters that should solve it Here's a uh, parasitic suppression board out of a uh, one of the Ameritron AL811Hs, and uh, I got that out of this amp right here. And, and of course, there's the uh, where the chokes go right in there. But I wanted to pull it out to so that it could be seen. Notice the turns on these; they have one, two, three, four, five turns. Yeah, just like the other one that I modified. So it's obvious that this, this board does not oscillate, or I mean, it doesn't burn up these resistors on 10 meters. Uh, so this is one of the Ameritron's boards that do work, that have, that have the fewer turns here on the coils. And of course, the 100 ohm 3 watt resistors are part of that. So this one is a good board. And if you have to notice, it's the one, <laughs> usually they have uh, no more than five turns on these parasitic chokes. So this is a good one.